As some of you may know, I recently picked up the Galaxy Fold for two main reasons, really. Number one, I wanna compare this phone to the upcoming Motorola Razr. I'm really excited to compare both because they're both different folding styles and I think that'll make a great video. And number two, I just wanted it. I've always wanted this phone since it was released or just launched or teased in April. And I didn't have the money in September when it came out to review it, but now I do and I'm financing it from AT&T for like $66 a month for 30 months. So that's just fantastic. I'll probably pay it off though and sell it when I'm done with it, especially if there's a better foldable coming next year. But with that said, and although I'm a little late to the coverage party, particularly on this device, today I want to talk about my first-hand experiences using the Samsung Galaxy Fold, why I think its design is ingenious, and why I think the future will fold in regard to smartphone technology. But before we continue here, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, as the algorithm likes that and will help push my content to more people. So I've had this device for about three days now, and not gonna lie, my anxiety levels are a little bit higher with it in my pocket because it's so expensive, number one, and two, you can just damage the display by like breathing at it or looking at it. This phone is super fragile, you can't get dust in it, it's not water resistant, and that's to be expected because this display has to be made out of plastic and there's gonna be gaps where the hinge is, you know? In short, companies like Motorola and Samsung, and I assume Apple and other big brands that are secretly working on their own foldable products are trying to make foldable devices like secure and safe and more durable as we speak. But for right now, what we got from Motorola and Samsung is the best yet. But despite the drawbacks and durability, I am thoroughly enjoying the foldable smartphone experience that the Galaxy Fold offers for a couple of reasons. Number one, the front display is perfectly sized. People were like, why didn't they extend it to the top and the bottom? Why isn't it bigger? You can't use it like a regular smartphone. And to that I say, yeah, you're not supposed to. This is the perfect one-handable screen, honestly. Especially since this device is slimmer when it's folded, like it's like two-thirds the width of a regular smartphone. It's almost like a remote. People have told me, like, is that like a remote? Like, what are you what are you holding? Is it like a TV remote? I'm like, no, it's the Galaxy Fold. And it's really ergonomic. I love the fact that I can one-handed dial people and scroll through Chrome and Instagram and just do some basic stuff on here, respond to texts with this slim form factor. It's very comfortable to hold, even though this phone is thick. So yeah, Yes, this display on here is perfect, I would say, for one-handed use. And that's something I am not accustomed to at all coming from like a OnePlus 6, a OnePlus 7 Pro, an iPhone 11 Pro Max, a Note 10 Plus, you know, the phablets that we've been used to for the past couple of years. This is very refreshing and ergonomic, I have to say. Although this design looks kind of awkward, once you hold it in hand, you're like, oh, I get it. And of course, the beauty with this device is if this outside display doesn't suffice for what you're doing, you just open it up and carry on with what you're doing like nothing happened. And this is why I love this device. You don't have to have a compromise between compactness and just a huge display. You don't have to resort to a phablet, which is kind of an awkward blend of both. And the fact that I can just snap this shut and slide it into my pocket is still insane to me. I still feel like I'm holding some kind of experiment, like some kind of concept that I'm not supposed to have my hands on, like some illegal technology. Because after 10 years, years of using rigid static glass displays it's just hard to wrap my head around this and that's why I love it and as we become more dependent on mobile technology like our smartphones I see this form factor that Samsung has introduced to be incredibly valuable because once again it's small and compact when you need it to be if you want to answer a phone call or just send a quick text message it's there when you need it you can just slide it back in your pocket and if you need to do some serious work all you have to do is open it up and go to town you can answer your email comfortably you can type up a document comfortably the guy that I met who had this phone the first time I saw this in the wild, he told me that he works for a company where he needs to access virtual machines or remote desktops and stuff like that. And having this display is so useful if you do that. It's so much less awkward than if you were to do that on like an iPhone 11 Pro or a Samsung Galaxy S10. And mobile gaming on this is amazing too. I played two games with this device so far, Minecraft and Call of Duty Mobile, and both have been amazing experiences because you can play on the outside display if you want to be low key about it. But once you open it up, you just get so much screen real estate to actually see what you're doing. And once again, it's just mind blowing that this can fit into my pocket comfortably. I also love the placement and addition of a fingerprint sensor on this device. It's placed perfectly and is super convenient when you want to unlock this phone, whether it's folded or unfolded, and it works nine times out of 10. Multitasking is of course amazing too on this unfolded display. You have so much screen space to work with, so having two apps open really isn't an awkward experience. You have enough space to interact with both apps and possibly even three at a time as well. So ultimately, although the Galaxy Fold in its first gen form is not perfect by any means, especially with its fragility in mind. 
Um, its design and form factor is just genius, and I hope that other smartphone manufacturers copy this design because it's just so well done. Once again, it is so conveniently one-handable and two-handable when you need it to be, and that's what makes this device so special. I know it's a simple explanation, right? You probably could have come to this conclusion yourself, but after using it for a couple days, I really have realized this, and it has changed the way that I use smartphone technology. And that about wraps things up. I hope this video was either helpful or fun for you. I'd really appreciate it. Once again, if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. Expect some more Galaxy Fold coverage coming later this year and early next year, especially when I finally get my hands on a Motorola Razr to test and review. And also expect some more iPad, iPhone, Surface Laptop, and Christmas-oriented content coming very soon as well. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.